Hi guys, so for this video I'm using yarn in size 4 medium and the crochet hook in size 5.5 uh, millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot and then I'll chain 9. Now on the last chain from the hook I'll make 5 double crochet. So this completes row 1. Now for row 2 I'll turn my work around and then I'll chain 5 and right here trace first double crochet chain then I'll turn my work around, I'll chain 5 then through that first double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet I'll chain 8 I'll turn my work around, then through this first double crochet chain I'll make 5 double crochet. I'll turn my work around, I'll chain 5, then through this first double crochet chain I'll make 1 double crochet. I'll chain 8, then I'll turn my work around, then right here to this first double crochet chain I'll make 5 double crochet. I'll turn my work around, I'll chain 5, then through the first double crochet chain I'll make one double crochet. I'll chain eight. Then I'll turn my work around and through this first double crochet chain I'll make five double crochet. So we repeat this until it reaches our desired length. So I made 20 rows for mine and now I'm going to work around it. I will chain 7, then right here through this 5 chain loop I'll make one single crochet, chain 7, through this next uh, 5 chain loop I'll make one single crochet, chain 7, through this next 5 chain loop I'll make one single crochet, chain 7, through this next 5 chain loop I'll make one single crochet, chain 7, through this next 5 chain loop I'll make one single crochet, chain 7, through this next 5 chain loop I'll make one single crochet, chain 7, through this next 5 chain loop I'll make one single crochet, chain 7, through this next 5 chain loop I'll make one single crochet, I'll chain 7, Through this next 5 chain loop I'll make one single crochet, chain 7. Through this next 5 chain loop I'll make one single crochet, chain 7. Now right here, through this chain where we have made these 5 double crochets I'll make a, a single crochet. Now through the next three chains I'll make a slip stitch. Now 
Now through that same loop I'll make one single crochet, I'll chain three, then through that same loop I'll make one single crochet, chain three, through that same loop I'll make one single crochet, chain three, through that same loop I'll make one single crochet, chain three, through that same loop I'll make one single crochet, chain three, same loop I'll make one single crochet, chain three, through that same loop I'll make one single crochet. Now through these next five double crochet chains I'll make a slip stitch. Through this uh, double crochet I'll make two slip stitches. Now right here through this uh, 8 chain loop I'll make one single crochet, I'll chain 3, then through that same loop I'll make one single crochet, chain 3, through that same loop I'll make one single crochet, chain 3, through that same loop I'll make one single crochet, chain 3, through that same loop I'll make one single crochet, chain 3, through the same loop I'll make one single crochet, chain three, through the same loop I'll make one single crochet. Now through these next five double crochet chains I'll make uh, one slip stitch through each chain. So one, two, three, four, and five. Through this double crochet I'll make two slip stitches. Now through this 8 chain loop I'll make uh, one single crochet. I'll chain 3, through that 8 chain loop I'll make one single crochet. Chain 3, through that same loop I'll make one single crochet. Chain 3, through that same loop I'll make one single crochet. Chain 3, through that same loop I'll make one single crochet. Chain 3, through that same loop I'll make one single crochet. Chain three through the same loop I'll make one single crochet. Now through this next five double crochet chains I'll make a slip stitch. Through this double crochet I'll make two slip stitches. Through this 8 chain loop I'll make one single crochet. I'll repeat the same thing for the rest of this row. And now that we are at the end of this row, right there through the same 8 chain loop I'll make a slip stitch. Then I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn. And now I'll weave these ends in and we'll be done. So this is all for today guys. I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching.